Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I have some great updates to share with you for our zippers. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here I have a garment filled with zippers. And one of the nice things that I can now do here is we over in our object browser have a zippers tab. So I'm gonna go over here to my zipper tab and here I can actually start to select my zipper and I can do different edits so I can edit and adjust this around. I can change the function. Maybe I want this to be a two way. I can also change the puller or the slider. I can change the type. So instead of it just being plastic, I could change it to like metal or anything like that. Um, I've got a lot of different options here. So here I can change this to metal. I can also change this to being, maybe I want it to be this kind of puller. Um, I can change the gauge. I also can zoom in here and I can of course select just the tape. And then all of just my teeth and tape options are here. I can go in and change out the color. Um, actually cancel, because I don't want the teeth, I just want the tape color. So I can go in here and figure out what the tape color is. Ankles. Now I have that. I could go in and play around with these, like polar colors or anything like that. I can also save this zipper now. So I can select this whole zipper and save this as a whole zipper, which is really nice. So I'm going to go into my folder here. to a zipper and if I want to I can now select this zipper and I could open up and switch it out with this two-way zipper that I just created and then apply it onto here so now I've just applied this new one here and what's also really nice is I can go into my colorway now that I have all of this broken down. And over here in my colorway, I have the zipper broken down even further. And it's all thanks to this ad. So here I have my zipper and I have it broken down even further with all of these different names. Um, all of these, I can change out these names if I wanted to. I can change out all of this. I have all of it all broken down. So I could also go in and I could select this fabric. I could go and change it to the screen, apply and close. Right, so I can change in, I can make any adjustments I want. I could say for this one, I actually want this. I don't want this to be purple. I want this to be white. Apply and close. And I want this one to be green. Or maybe I can find like a cool too. And change all that. So now there's a lot more that I can do with my zippers, especially with my colorways and just saving it and having it over here in the object browser. Again, it's right over here in the object browser. Really cool, really, really helpful. When you select your zipper, you can then do a lot of stuff in your property editor. And you can also go in still and select different parts of the zipper if you just want to edit that individually. So I could go in and just select like the slider and the puller and make all of those edits. I could just go in and select the teeth and tape, just make those edits. 
or I could select it as a whole and make all of these edits and all of that really nice and easy and quickly. Pretty nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks again so much for watching. Keep having fun in Chloe.